The asphalt distributor is used widely in road maintenance and construction projects. This videotape applies specifically to the asphalt distribution system. For the operator daily maintenance of the truck components, you should refer to the dump truck operator daily maintenance videotape. You, the operator, can help keep the asphalt distributor in good operating condition. This task can be carried out by following the operator daily maintenance procedures. Each agency has their own specific maintenance activities, and each equipment manufacturer has its recommended procedures. It is your responsibility that none of the special requirements for your machine are overlooked. In this videotape, you will be looking specifically at those maintenance procedures that apply to the asphalt distribution system. Follow along with our operator as he carries out each one of these very important checks. As with all vehicles, the asphalt distributor's daily maintenance consists of various activities that are performed throughout the workday. Our operator is using a checklist that has these daily activities divided into four areas. These areas are the pre-start check, the warm-up check, the daily operating check, and the shutdown check. If during these activities problems are discovered, follow your local guidelines to determine corrective procedures. Now we can look at each of these activities in detail. Our operator will begin with the pre-start check. The pre-start check is a walk-around inspection for fluid leaks, damaged or worn parts, and correct operating fluid levels. First, examine the distributor's engine. This engine drives the pump. The pump is necessary for the proper distribution of asphalt material. The engine hoses and hose connections should be inspected for leakage. Feel the bottom of filter bowls and inline filters. Often, seals and filter connections are a source of leaks. In addition, the cooling system should be inspected for leakage. Be sure to carefully examine the radiator, its hoses and hose connections. After you have determined there are no fluid leaks or damaged parts, you should check the fluid levels of the equipment. Correct fluid levels are necessary for safe and efficient operation of your distributor. The asphalt distributor engine, like the truck engine, needs to have its oil level checked. Here, too, the level must reach the indicator mark for safe operation. If it does not, you should add the correct type and amount of oil to the full level on the dipstick. You should also look at the engine coolant. Make sure that the fluid in the radiator is at the level required for your particular engine as specified by your supervisor. Add more coolant if needed. It is good practice not to perform this check if the engine has recently been operated since the coolant might be under pressure. This pressure, if released by removing the cap, could cause serious injury to you. The fan will control the temperature of the engine. Proper operation of the fan depends on the fan belts. Hand test the fan belts for tautness and examine the belts for wear. Important additional inspections are at the battery. If your battery is the maintenance-free type, as in this case, the fluid level check will not be performed. A quick inspection of the hydrometer will be all that is needed. The green color, as shown here, indicates a charged battery. If this indicator turns dark, as simulated here, notify your supervisor immediately. If your battery is not the maintenance-free type, you would inspect the fluid level in the following manner. Remove the battery caps and check the fluid levels. If needed, fill each cell to just above the top of the battery plates with clean, distilled water. Never fill the cell to the top of the filler neck or allow the fluid to drop below the top of the battery plates. Now, make sure that the battery is securely fastened down. Inspect the battery cables, clamps, and connections for tightness and corrosion. Caution, never inspect your battery while smoking or with an open flame in the area. 
Always follow your local guidelines when working with batteries. Next, note the level of asphalt in the storage tank. It may need filling before you go to the job site. The distributor engine operation needs to be checked briefly before leaving for the job site. Listen for unusual noises and check the gauges. Make sure the engine is operating properly. If it is not, notify your supervisor. Your final pre-start check is the inspection of the bitumeter. The bitumeter helps you gauge the application of asphalt. To measure accurately, it needs to be clean and well lubricated. This completes the pre-start checks for the asphalt distribution system. All these inspection points are important to you and your equipment. Do not leave the parking area until you have determined that the distribution system is ready for operation. Once you arrive on the job site, there are some special procedures to be followed. These procedures are included in your asphalt distributor warm-up check. This check consists of preheating the asphalt to the required temperature, circulating the asphalt through the spray bars, and inspecting the spray bar system for leaks while there is pressure in the lines. Let us look at these checks one at a time. First, you will need to check the temperature of the asphalt in the storage tank to see if it is within the recommended temperature range for application. If the temperature gauge is registering a temperature below that recommended for the job, you will need to start up the asphalt heating and circulation system. This will allow the burners to heat the asphalt in the tank to the correct application temperature. At the same time, the pump will circulate the asphalt in the tank. Be careful. Before lighting the burners, be sure your truck is on level ground. This will permit normal flow of the burner fuel. As an additional precaution, since you will be working with flammable liquids, always follow your agency's guidelines for fire safety. If you are heating a partial load, be sure that the asphalt is at least six inches or 15 centimeters above the flue you are using. An exposed or partially covered heating flue can superheat the asphalt, possibly causing an explosion. Once the correct application temperature has been reached, you can begin to circulate the asphalt through the spray bar. At this time, you can check the spray bar system for any leaks. Look under the bar. If any leaks are found, notify your supervisor. That completes all the warm-up activities for the asphalt distributor. The third daily maintenance activity, the daily operating check, is carried out during daily use of the distributor. These operating checks include being aware of the distributor engine performance, listening for unusual noises, checking the spray nozzle performance, cleaning the hand spray bar and monitoring the system's gauges. You can look at these individually. Listen for any noticeable changes in the performance of the asphalt distribution engine and pump. Be aware of unusual noises. Constantly be aware of the nozzle spray. If any nozzle becomes clogged or if its spray is not uniform, stop operation and clean the faulty nozzle immediately. The hand spray bar is used periodically. To avoid the clogging of the hand spray bar, it is advisable to clean it after each use. To clean the hand spray bar, simply run flushing fluid through it. In our case, the suckback system is used to quickly and efficiently clean the system. Your asphalt distributor is equipped with gauges which register temperature and pressure in the system. Monitor these gauges. If any gauge indicates an incorrect reading, stop your application and call your supervisor. When your last spray application is completed, but still on the job site, you'll need to raise your bitumeter for the final time. The fourth and last activity is your shutdown check. Some of these checks are done at the job site, 
Others are done just before parking the vehicle in the designated parking area. Pull your distributor into a safe area and clean the circulation system. Now that you have finished your last spray application, you need to remove the asphalt from the distribution system. Each make and model of distributor has its own procedures for cleaning out the asphalt distribution system. This distributor is designed to return the remaining asphalt from the pump and spray bars to the storage tank. This will prevent the asphalt from hardening while the distributor is not in use. By engaging this system, the distributor pump or a valve in the system will reverse the flow of the asphalt and pump it back into the storage tank. With this system engaged, and while standing off to the side for safety, the end section can be opened by using a valve. When you hear a hissing sound through the opened nozzles, you know that the bar is empty of asphalt. Now, shut down the valve. At this point, it is extremely important to clean the pump. While the engine and pump are still running, open the fill line cap and put in the correct amount of flushing fluid such as kerosene or similar solvent recommended by your distributor manufacturer. The kerosene will circulate through the pump and clean away excess asphalt. Now the engine and pump can be turned off. At this time, it is advisable to pour a small amount of kerosene down the fill line. The fluid will settle in the pump and remain there until you start the system again. This procedure will assure you of a clean pump, free of residual asphalt, and will aid in equipment startup the next time you use the machine. Next, clean the bitumeter of any asphalt buildup. Our operator is using a hand sprayer for cleaning. If this is not available to you, use rags soaked in kerosene. You will also need to clean the outside of the spray bar and spray bar nozzles. Your final shutdown check for the asphalt distributor is to completely fill your fuel and solvent tanks. Filling the tanks will minimize the buildup of condensation and water in the tanks. Remember when refueling, be sure all equipment is clean this prevents contaminants from entering the tank. Since these are flammable liquids, do not smoke or have an open flame in the area. That completes the detailed description of the four major daily operator maintenance activities for the asphalt distribution system. Now let us review each of these activities again. The first activity is the pre-start check. Here, you check for fluid leaks and damaged or worn parts. You also check the fluid levels. You test the distribution power system to make sure it is working correctly. And finally, inspect the bitumeter. The second activity is the equipment warm-up check. These checks are made on the job site. Start your asphalt distribution system. If necessary, Heat the asphalt in the storage tank to the correct application temperature and turn on the spray bar circulation system and inspect for leaks. The third activity is the daily operating check. This activity includes being aware of any changes in the equipment's performance, listening for unusual noises, checking the spray bar nozzles, keeping the hand spray bar clean and checking the gauges. The fourth and final activity is the shutdown check. Flush the asphalt distribution system. Clean the exterior of the truck and distributor. And fill the distribution system's fuel and solvent storage tanks. This videotape has included general maintenance procedures. Your agency may require that you modify certain activities. There also may be additional safety inspection points. If so, 
follow your operator guidelines. This concludes the videotape on asphalt distributor operator daily maintenance. Following these procedures will help ensure that your equipment is properly maintained in good operating condition.